Well, everybody, here is my new toy. I'm very excited to show you this. I got it five days ago, and I've already used it lots. Today, I'm going to film a little bit, show you a little example. I am calling this my off-grid solar-powered washing machine and spinner. But for the record, the washing machine only runs on 110 volt. So I'm going to be using my solar power on the roof of my RV, brought down into my batteries, then using my inverter to invert the power so that where this washing machine is plugged in right now, technically I am running it off solar and that is the main ideal. I want to be able to wash my clothes out in the middle of nowhere using my own power and my own water source. I will get more on the on the convenience and stuff of it and why I chose this and why I think it's great for RVers and stuff, but first I just wanna show you some of the cool functions of it and how I wash a load. You may remember back some time ago, I used to have one of these. It was more than half the size and it was only a washing machine and not a spinner. So for the record, uh, there will be a link in the video description. I'm not making any money off that link. I'm just showing it so you guys can do your own research and reference. Maybe you can find it cheaper. But I got this one on Amazon for $94 shipped free. There's the tub. There's the spinner down there. Just to show you what it's going to do. But we'll add water and I'll show you it really wa- I mean, I'm, I'm not even kidding you. This washing machine washes clothes better than any other household washing machine. And here's the newer edition. This is the spinner. And so you would load your clothes into here, okay? Then you would pack it down and I will show you that. Turn it on and it'll spin dry. The functions up top, uh, you got the wash timer with, uh, you can set that to minutes, how much you're gonna agitate it here. You got a soft wash, a standard wash. When you turn it over to drain, you're actually gonna be draining the water out of the basin here or from the spinner. So this would simply come off. And for today's demonstration, I am going to be putting the wash water right onto the ground here. And that's because I'm using an environmentally friendly laundry detergent here. But for the most time, I'm gonna be using this inside in the bathtub. And again, at the end of the video, I will show you that. I'm just coming outside because it's a nice day where it's not raining and I wanna do it outside today. Spin timer is here. The washing machine comes with two water inlets where you could somehow hook up a water to input water into the washing machine, as well as add water to the spin cycle while it's spinning. I don't really see how that's necessary because even in the shower, I'm just gonna use my own shower head and spray water right in here. And for today's demonstration, I'm actually just gonna use a hose nozzle with fresh water outside to do both fill this and spray down the spin cycle. As for the specs on this guy, 240 watts for the wash cycle and 120 watts for the spin cycle. I'll start off here by filling this up about halfway full of water. Now you really do not need much detergent, guys. I can't stress that enough. That's the mistake a lot of people make is they put way too much detergent in these. I'm at the half of the one mark on this for a normal load of washing. Just start this up and you'll see how it's gonna agitate. And it's already soapy. So the spinner's gonna go one way for about five seconds, then stop and go back the other way and continue to agitate the clothes. I'm gonna add two t-shirts, a pair of shorts, two pairs of boxers, two pairs of socks, and a hand towel, and then I'm gonna add a little more water. not quite half a load but you could almost double what I just put in there and just add a little bit more water you can see how full it is not quite half full but it absolutely washes clothes like you would not believe look how dirty the water already is it is a very efficient very effective washing machine and I have noticed that it flat out cleans clothes better than any other normal washing machine it's incredible So we'll just let that go. Like I said, the timer here, I don't think these are real minutes, you know, three, six, nine, 12, 15, but a 15 minute wash cycle is probably gonna be fine for any load of laundry. As for how stable it is, granted this thing is all plastic everywhere, except for the actual spin uh, insert in there, but it's all plastic. It says it weighs 10 pounds, but it's not shaking all around. It's pretty much staying still. 
So we'll let this wash and then I'll show you the spin cycle. Alrighty, and once that's done, looks good. Make sure you have this drain right here, either put somewhere in the tub where it can drain water or outside with a environmentally friendly soap. Hook this over to drain. And that'll drain us out here. So now we'll open up our spin cycle here. We grab the wash clothes, put them in here. We want to spin them before we rinse them. You can see the spin cycle here is much smaller than the wash cycle. So if you'd done a full load here instead of a half a load, what I just did, you would have to do two three minute spin cycles separately with half the load, just so you know. Put this guard in here and try to push everything down as much as you can. Alrighty. Turn on your spin cycle here. We'll just go for five. It might be a little rough for the first five seconds, but then once it kind of levels out, there it goes. All of that water there is coming from the spin cycle right now. It is literally amazing how much water it gets out of this. I don't want to say that they're bone dry when they come out of here, but they are practically almost dry. All right, and while we're finishing the spin cycle, I'm going to go back to the wash basin here and add another half of water for our rinse cycle. All right, got the water halfway full in there. Here's the time where if you had water input coming in right now, you could add water to this right now, and it would spray water inside there and kind of help it rinse. What I'll do is just kind of stop this cycle halfway through, basically. I'll get my hose or my nozzle from the shower right now and I will just spray some water down in here so that it pushes it out to the edge. Maybe not really necessary on just the, before the rinse cycle, but on the, on the final actual spin, that's probably a good idea. Again, you'll see the start up here. And now it's balanced, that quick. And that's a full load in the spin cycle, balanced. There we go. And I'll pretty much let this spin until water stops coming out the drain hose. Now, I want to show you. Let me just pull out one article here. This towel is dry to the touch. I can't stress that. It is literally, this towel's dry. Obviously, I'm still going to set out all these clothes to air dry, but they are literally, they're it looks like a dry, like it just came out of the dryer. It kind of feels slightly, possibly damp. It is absolutely incredible though. No more wringing out clothes like the old washer I have. This is so simple and so awesome to use off the grid. So although I'm not gonna uh, film this and show you what I'm gonna do, obviously I'm gonna put all this back in here, do my rinse cycle and do this again. I'll cut back in once we get all these clothes fully rinsed and spin, and I'll show you how I dry them. Actually, while we're working on the final rinse and then spin there, let me talk to you about a few of the reasons why this is really economical for me, kind of why I chose this over something else and why it might also work for somebody else who's in an RV or apartment or anything. What I don't like is just spitting out quarters and having to deal with stinky places or hot places or screaming kids or smelly people, Lot, lots and lots of smelly people at laundromats for some reason. Um, when I get to RV parks once a week, sometimes that can be a great opportunity if they have laundry, but oftentimes washing machines or dryers will break, will eat your money. Um, I have had clothes stolen from RV parks. You would not believe it. So you literally have to stay there and guard your clothes for two hours while they're washing. Um, in the past, I had liked to have lots of articles of clothes in the RV, which totally contradicts every other minimalist RV out there where they're like, nope, I got five shirts. You know, I literally have five outfits and I'm going to wash them and, and, and keep my clothes in the cupboard down to a minimum. Not me. I have over 40 shirts. I have a month's worth of boxers and socks, lots of pairs of shorts, all the same exact kinds of cotton shorts, just different colors and stuff like that. But that way in the past I could build up two huge duffel bags and only go once a month to do laundry. 
having this device here is not going to solve all of my problems. Now, if I'm at like a river somewhere with unlimited water and I'm using my environmentally friendly soap, getting lots of solar, I can sit out there and do laundry all day, uh, hang all, all my clothes to dry, it's going to be perfect. But what this really comes in handy, believe it or not, is at an RV park. Oh, and also my water capacity, the reason, partly the reason why I upgraded my onboard fresh water to 58 gallons, or 63 if you include my water heater, is so that I can have my own water to do stuff like this. Now the load that I'm doing right now, three gallons to wash, three gallons to rinse, so six gallons. Not too bad, not really cutting into my 58 gallons. But if I get to an RV park somewhere, that's where this thing sits in my tub, which I'll show you at the end of this video. And then I simply have complete control over my laundry. I'm not tied to it. I can multitask and watch TV. I can make lunch. Um, I can clean the RV. I, I can do all sorts of things while this is going safely inside my RV with unlimited power. I'll just bypass solar and plug into normal 110 volt. And I'll have unlimited water coming in through the hose. So it really relieves the, the stress of having to find a laundromat on the road. And like I said, you cannot, you can't even compete how much this cleans the clothes better than a standard washing machine, it really does. If you were to search online, you'll probably find all sorts of these branded under different stuff. I just happened to chose the one that I thought had the best reviews on Amazon. Like I said, it's called Best Choice. I think uh, Panda also makes one. The old one I had from three years ago was called Basecamp much much smaller and I remember griping in that video about having to wring out the clothes and why don't they just make a spinner that you can there you go they they, they heard us RVers this is a complete unit it is small enough to can I stand next to it and show you how big it is it's 25 inches across 29 inches tall and I think 14 inches wide and it only weighs 10 pounds so this gets stored in my shower, and then when I take a shower each day, I simply take it out with one hand, put it in the kitchen, it's easy. Now I know when most people are gonna dry their clothes, they're just gonna put a line out somewhere every single time. I've never done that when I've been drying my clothes. This, this is my solution to drying clothes. See how flat this thing is? This will easily store anywhere in my RV, but yet, opens up completely latches up here and gives me all sorts of room to put different articles of clothing up top four racks middle rack two middle so now granted these clothes aren't going to take very long to dry you can even drape them off the side or put them on a hook or something so There you go, that's my setup. <laughs> so now that we're inside, I just wanna show you how I store the washing machine in my RV bathroom here on the road. As you can see, it's blue and white, so it matches my bathroom anyway. And it sits right here in the corner of the shower tub, up on the ledge. <laughs> I mean, it works perfectly, just out of the way. And it's not an inconvenience at all to just grab it and move it once a day, put it in the kitchen while I take a shower. Let me put the camera down and I will position it, show you uh, how I put it when I'm washing clothes in the tub here. Don't ask me how I got this lucky, guys. <laughs> Sometimes you just buy the exact product that works. It fits inside the shower tub perfectly. I take the drain pipe off and it's on the back right now so that it can simply just drain right into the shower. I have access to the tub and the spinner. And I will just grab this. And this is how I will put water in. It's absolutely perfect for me. Good luck finding a system that works that perfect for you. I'm just saying, hey, I finally got something that works and I'm happy with. And you know, if you're interested in one as well, I hope you find one that works. Just remember when you're doing your searching on Amazon or eBay or wherever you're looking, most of the time you're gonna wanna look at those dimensions, especially if it's somewhere, something specific that you want to go somewhere in your RV to fit. You know, I, I measured how much room I was gonna have between this and the wall and the basin of the tub and everything, and Jax has come to check it out, uh, just to make sure, so yeah. <laughs> That's my washing machine, everybody. Hope you enjoy my video. See you in a couple days from Florida.